Hello my genius minds, welcome to another session of reasoning for grade 6 and this is your chapter number 2, Analogy and Classification. When you talk of analogy, here I have brought a beautiful picture and we could see that Anoop and Basil are talking and trying to find out the analogy. And they promptly came up with the answer, as bat is to cricket, we have racket is to badminton. Can you help them to find one more analogy here? Look at the cow. Cow is herbivorous. And what do you say about crow? Yes, crow is omnivorous. So we say cow is herbivorous. Similarly, crow is omnivorous. Now that's making you the Einstein of analogy. Here I have brought few more images as two stars turn to three similarly four circles turn to five four plus one is five so here we got the right answer let's look at more analogy here the square or the circles are divided in segments where the inner segment is moving in anti-clockwise direction could you see and when you see the outer segment, it is turning in clockwise direction. The same pattern is followed here. We see the outer segment moving in clockwise and the inner segment is turning in anti-clockwise. So, we could easily predict what comes next here following the same pattern. That's analogy. Now, moving ahead, we have some word analogy. Cup, lip. That means we use lips to drink from cup. So, how does a bird drink? Yes, perfect answer. That is beak. Here we have another analogy. Flow, river. That means river flows. Now, my question to you is that what is stagnant? That's brilliant. We have pool as the right answer. Tuberculosis is a disease for lungs. And what is typhoid? It is a disease of which part of the body? Rightly answered. That is intestine. Now I have few mathematical analogies for you. So the first combination given to you is 11 is to 144. Now first find out how 11 turns to 144. Let's have a trial. 11 plus 1 makes 12. And what is 12 times 12? We got the answer. Let's try the same thing for 16. What 16 plus 1? 17. And what 17 times 17? Here we got the right answer. Moving ahead we talk about how analogy and classification differs. So analogy word actually means similarity. We have to create a relation of similarity and it could be in form of alphabets, it could be in form of numbers, sometimes it could be in form of words or even shapes. We have to create the relation of the first combination and then complete the Second combination following the same pattern and similarity. But when you talk about classification, here we classify items into groups and we have to find what is the odd one out and that gives you the answer. Let's try a few more examples here. So the first question is 25 is to 675. What is 30 is to the missing number? So, first create the relation between 25 and 625. Let's see, 25 times 25 is 625 and 25 times 2 is 50. When you add 625 and 50, we get 675. Am I right? Let's try the same thing for 30. 30 times 30 makes 900. And 30 times 2 makes 60. So adding them together we get 960. So your correct option is D. 
Now next is Saudi Arabia is related to real. That means real is the currency of Saudi Arabia. You need to find the currency for Japan and perfectly answered. Yen is the right answer. Now we have next question where you have to choose the odd pair of words. So man is a human being, onion is a vegetable, sofa is a furniture and if I say flower is red that's not always true. So your odd combination is flower is to red. Now let's come to another example. Here you have to find the odd one out from the given options. Chemistry, it's the stream of science. Geography is a stream of social studies. Then geology and botany, they are again branches of science. So we find geography as the odd one out. Did you understand how we attempt the questions? Now your turn begins. So my instructions to you is that initially you will take the small steps and gradually you are going to push the walls of your brain so that you could come out with your best. And read the question carefully. Just understand what question is asked and how you need to create the relations between the given combinations. And then first number is 16 ratio 56. You first create the relation that how 16 and 56 is related. The same relation has to be created for 32 and you will get the answer. Now if you look at the question number 3. Beautician works in a parlor. And my question to you is that what is the workplace for a lawyer? That will be your answer here. Looking at the next question, we could see that the alphabets are turned upside down. So just take an attempt and get the right answer. In this way, you will keep just exploring and create wonders. Sometimes you could see the movement of the shapes. It could be the clockwise, it could be anti-clockwise. It could be half circle, it could be quarter circle. So every question is different. Every question follows a different logic. Just a little brainstorming will make you the master for reasoning. And your efforts are surely going to bring out good sweet fruits. Now more questions are there where you have four combinations. And you need to just see that which of these four combination have one odd combination. That will be your answer. And in the next category of question, we have to find the odd one in the given numbers, words or figures. So the first one is 38, 45, 49 and 65. So could you see that we have three numbers which are odd numbers. And 38 is even number. So that becomes your answer. And in this way, every question requires your little extra efforts to make you outshine. And then coming to a brain twister, we have a crossword puzzle. In this crossword puzzle, we have few clues for across the crossword and few clues for downward crossword and your crossword will be completed. So just make a small effort and rise to the top of your success ladder. My best wishes to you.